Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So today I'm making some more of my um, scented sachet packets um, using jasmine and this is peppermint. And after I used the peppermint, um, I decided that maybe I would um, add a little lemon to it, lemon peppermint. It actually smells really nice. So in order to make it, I use a plastic fork and I just kind of mash it all down. And then I usually add, um, it depends on, I'm going to try the peppermint first. It depends on how much baking soda I have. Um, I think it's usually around 20 or 30 drops, but really you have to do it yourself to get the scent you want, how strong you want it. And then with the fork, I'm mashing it through um, all of the baking soda. And then I'm going to let it set. And we, um, you know, let it set while I make the little packages. And I just noticed that it needed a little bit more. So let me stop here. I'll go fast forward a little bit here. And then I'll come back in a minute. Alright, so I've decided to make the little packets and I was watching my video there to see uh, the measurements and how I kind of put it together but basically it's any little packet that you uh, you can um, follow any kind of packaging and you'll notice later that I've made different sizes um, this particular one I believe is four by seven so let's speed this up a little bit. So now all I'm doing is just cutting um, a topper and the bottom of the uh, sachet. I um, believe it's a 3x3 three three is the topper and I think it's 4x7. And I decided to do 2 in case I make a mistake. And then I'm going to get out my scoreboard. And I'm scoring it at a half inch, three and a half, and six and a half, and a half inch on each side. But, you know, you can do your, your own thing, um, whatever you decide to make a little packet. But this is the one that I used. All right, now I'm just going to cut the corners off. I mean, it's not really, this is not really a tutorial to, to do this. It's just, I just wanted to do it quickly. And I'm kind of just notching it a little bit so that it's easier to fold. And now I'm going to add, I'm just making a couple of adjustments here. Um, and I'm going to add the um, adhesive. And what I do is I add, I'm just measuring to make sure. Um, I use the uh, double-sided tape as well as the uh, liquid glue so that I get a good seal, especially when you have um, the powder, the baking powder and baking soda in there. It, uh, you know, it'll affect the double-sided tape more. So all I'm doing is just folding it over. I hope you can you can see this that I'm not. You know, I'm not really doing a tutorial here. You can always go back and search for uh, scented sachets or sachets, and you might be able to find it on my channel. So I'm just folding those all over, and I'm just going to slow it down here. There we go. So I was trying to figure out how to... Um, um, how to do the little topper and I kind of measured it with with what I've done and it it's it's better at I think I cut them at three and a half but it should have been three square I guess but whatever you know whatever size your your little packet is that you know it's kind of the size you make the uh, the little topper for it and I just cut it in half 
cut it in half. No, no, fold it in half. And of course, you have to put the stuff inside. <laughs> and you notice that I bagged them up. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. Um, I did bag them up in plastic bags and um, seal them so that they will stay fresher longer. And now I'm going to fill it up with three little heapings of these spoons that I got at the dollar store. I think they're all kinds of different colors. I have them around somewhere. I'm not sure where. So that's what I've done. And now what I'm going to do is just wipe off the top because um, I want to be able to put the double-sided tape and the liquid glue to seal it. And I'm just looking for my tape. Just want to make sure to get rid of all of the uh, baking soda because it will affect the the glue sticking. Another minor adjustment. I gotta wash my, my little scissors work so good, but there's so much glue on it from cutting things that. <laughs> They're not cutting very well, so I'm going to have to wash them. I'm just checking. I'm just checking my video here to say, well, to myself, I'm thinking I am definitely not following it properly. So here we are. So I've got both double-sided tape and glue. I just want to make sure that it sticks really well. And that's a little packet. I'm just shaking it up so that it's not all at the bottom. Really cute little packaging. Now I'm just trying to decide how I want to set up the little topper. Basically, I put that on just to make it look prettier, but also um, I'll be stapling it on, and it's just kind of another reinforcement to, to keep the top closed. And then I realized that, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to round the corners. I don't know what I was thinking with that thing. I always like rounded corners when I'm doing things. It kind of leaves, leaves a nice finish to it. And then after all that, I realized that um, I don't have my stapler with me. So I'm going to have to go and get it in the other room. I'm spending way too much time on this. It should be in and out, in and out, easy peasy. <laughs> yep, I'm looking for my stapler. All right. I also created, I went to my printer and printed off, uh, because the scent is jasmine, I'm using my one inch punch to punch out the words. I printed them off small enough so that um, I could use my little uh, one inch punch to, to cut them out so that I can put them on the back and know what scent is in there. On some of my older ones, I actually put it on the front in a larger font and put it, made fancy wording and et cetera, et cetera. So there's a whole bunch of them that I did. And I put it on the back and I think I put it upside down. <laughs> I think I put it on. I'm just using uh, glue to stick it on there, liquid glue. You'll see in a minute that I made a boo-boo. <laughs> oh, well, there's never a craft day without a boo-boo. I wasn't thinking, so I put this on the back of the top. And then realized, no, 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 no. It goes on the other side, you silly girl. 
Yeah, I'm taking it off, which is okay because the uh, the topper the to the little topper will just have extra glue on the back. I'm going to pull, try and place it there nicely. I should have speed this part up because it really is, you know, not much to it. Okay, I was having a little fun here making these sachets, and then I just put them in some clear bags. I don't have any that actually fit, but I wanted to try different sizes and different patterns. Here's another size, and here's another. And I think these would make really cute little gifts that you put in a package when you're sending to friends, or just to have them in your in your own stash. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, I just am going to save this last little bit. I'm going to see if I can make some more with the last one. I use these little spoons here and I fill it up, kind of a heaping spoon, and I put three in each of these. I have some older ones and just a second. I found these in my stash and these are vanilla. That's kind of how I decorated them, putting ribbon around it, handmade with love. And when I open it up, it still has a fragrance. Oh, look at that. The fragrance is still there, but the... Uh, the little tag came off, which means just get some hot glue, put it on, and there we have it. Now, I made these, I believe it was the summer of 2019, and they've been in this plastic bag vanilla plastic bag and they still have a scent I think that's amazing I think that's amazing that they still have a scent after being put in these little packages all this time and uh, and if I want to and if I run out of anything I um, any anything not anything if I run out of um, Baking soda, I can use these for scrubbing. Um, you know, you can scrub the sink with it and rinse it out and you have a nice scented, and you have a clean drain. And that's the other thing that's really good about them. Anyway guys, that is my little craft day. Um, Mom just went to bed so I was able to put the sound back on and, and get some of these done. And I thought I would share these older ones I can't I can't believe they still smell now I am not a fan of vanilla but a lot of people are and I think that is just amazing that after almost three years what is it 2021 yeah three two years they still have a nice scent so I just think these are kind of a great fun idea they're great to put in uh, packages that you send to to friends. I think it's great for craft fair idea and Label them properly like you know package them properly. I didn't I just did this and it really doesn't say anything So I really need kind of a fancy um, I need to I need to set them up. Let me um, Go to my printer and do have some fun and see if I can come up with some pretty um, labels or toppers. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.